What is going on everyone? My name is Cryptix, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Glorious Model O Wireless since I've been using it for a month now and I can see what is good and what is bad about it. If you do enjoy, please consider leaving a like and subscribe since it helps me out a lot and it's completely free. Now, without further ado, enjoy the video. So before we get into the video, the video will be split into three parts, the technical specs, the pros, and the cons. If you'd like to skip through any of these topics, the chapters will be in the description. The Glorious Model O Wireless is a wireless game mouse that was popularized due to its wired version being very famous in the Minecraft community. The pricing of this mouse is $80 without tax and shipping, though it will vary depending on which store you buy it from. I bought mine personally on his website, PC Gaming Race, which was where I found it the cheapest. The mouse can be used wired or wireless, though I did not find a connection difference between the two. The mouse has a 71 hour battery life, which is a very long battery life, though it does mean you'll have to charge it at some point. One thing I've noticed is that the battery life is longer when you turn off the RGB lighting or dim it down. The length of the mouse is 128 millimeters long and is 66 millimeters wide from the back. The peak height of this mouse comes in at 375 millimeters and the peak is in the middle. This mouse is designated for people with medium sized hands, so someone with small hands I was able to palm it and still be quite comfortable. For larger hands you may have to go into a claw or fingertip grip. Moving on to the buttons, the left and right click is tactile, though with a headset on and a mechanical keyboard it didn't really bother me that much. For the scroll wheel, it does take a lot more force than mice I had to use in the past, which can be a good or bad thing depending on how you use it. The DPI button is a skinny pill shaped button in between the left and right click which can be programmed using the button for the glorious model wireless. The program can be easily found on the PC Gaming Race website. The side buttons are found on the left side of the mouse and are right next to each other. Similar to the DPI button, these can be reprogrammed as well. So I have officially been using this mice. So I've officially been using this mice for one month, so I can tell you some of the pros and cons you will find in this mice just by simply using it for a while. Double clicking. As a Minecraft PvP player, CPS can cause an impact while doing fights. It can also be highly useful for those that want to begin difficult bridging methods, such as Breezley bridging, Moonwalk, and more. Lightweight. Coming in at just 69 grams, I was highly surprised at how lightweight they can make a wireless mouse for just $80. To put that into perspective, the Razer Viper Ultimate comes in at $150, and the Logitech G Pro Wireless comes in at $130, and yet they are both still heavier than the Glorious Model O Wireless. I think this is one of the biggest factors in my opinion. Wireless. Just by simply being wireless is a huge plus. There are not that many wireless mice that can do all the stuff the Model O Wireless can, especially at the price. For one, cable drag is no longer existence for one, and makes it easier to aim. It also makes your setup look a lot more cleaner. Pricing. Similar to what I said about it being lightweight, the fact that they can make it double click weigh at 69 grams all for $80 is just a steal itself. It's only competitors don't have either of those stuff for an extra $50 or more. Along with all pros, there will have to be cons, so here are some of the stuff that may make you think otherwise. Pricing. I may have just said that the pricing is a pro, but for others it may be a con. Though it may be a good deal at $80, it is still a lot for just a mouse. Battery life. Though it may have a long lasting battery life, it is still annoying the fact that you have to charge it along with other wireless products. You need the software. The software is a huge part of this mouse since you will need the program for a lot of the features such as reprogramming, changing the RGB, making it double click, and more. But I know for some people, including me, I wish I was just able to do all that stuff without having to download anything to maximize its potential. In conclusion, I believe if you have the money and you're willing to pay for it, you should 100% get the Glorious Model O Wireless. It is a great mouse at the price of $80 for it being able to double click, be wireless, and weigh only 69 grams. However, if you do not have the money or you're a little questionable for if you want to spend that money, I would suggest just buying the wired version unless you plan on traveling a lot. For me, using a wired mouse for a long time, I don't believe you will notice the wire too much on a wired mouse and I don't think there are that many pros above the Model O Wired, especially if you just plan on staying at one spot while gaming. But there you have it guys, if you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, and I will see ya.